Welcome in Minecraft fans, Mr. Orange here, and today we set out on episode 1 of our very first Minecraft hardcore server survival tutorial. Please hit the subscribe button and kindly leave a like on this video in order to jumpstart a brand new Minecraft family, the Orange community of course. On episode 1 of our hardcore series, I'm going to show you how to survive your first day and set yourself up for a successful hardcore adventure. That way, when you begin your very own Minecraft hardcore adventure, you will know exactly what to do to crush it and impress your friends. Step one, when beginning a Minecraft hardcore server, remember to immediately cut down trees and gather logs and wood, as you can see I'm doing here. Gathering 10 to 15 logs is an ideal number to begin with. Remember to process as quickly as possible, because if you die in hardcore, you will be kicked out from the server. If you want to play it a little safer, you could definitely harvest 20 to 30 logs. It is completely up to you. Just remember you need to complete all 10 steps before sundown as darkness will quickly creep up on you. We have one more there, and we're ready now to jump into step two. It is now time to use your logs and wood to craft planks. With a few simple clicks, we now have planks to begin working with. Step three, as you can see, it's time to build a crafting table. A crafting table is one of the most important items in Minecraft. A crafting table allows you to build pickaxes, swords, shovels, and all the essential items to survive your Minecraft hardcore adventure. I always keep a crafting table in my inventory in case I get caught out in the open at night when many monsters spawn and begin to chase me down. Step 4. Now that you have your handy crafting table, it's time to begin creating sticks. With a few planks, as you can see, we are able to make more than enough sticks for today's episode. Step 5. With our newly created sticks and previously created planks, it is time to begin crafting our very first pickaxe. Feel the power of your brand new pickaxe. Unfortunately, it's not orange, but it will do. Step 6. Since we are playing hardcore mode, we need to be ready for any monster that pops out of nowhere. It's time to build that wooden sword, as you can see, which is perfect for protecting against unwanted mobs. Now that we have our offense in our trusty pickaxe and our defense in our wooden sword, it's time to move on to step 7. Step 7 is extremely important, and it is to locate three sheep. There is our first sheep. Here is our second sheep. The reason for locating three sheep is because we need three white wool to craft a bed. Without a bed, you will not be able to sleep during the night and will be facing many dangerous monsters that can end your hardcore gameplay before you get started. Remember to move as quickly as possible and conserve the daylight. Step eight. It's time now to gather some food. As you can see here initially, there's no animals, so we have to roam out. This is actually my least favorite part since I love animals, but food will be essential in order to stay strong during your hardcore adventure. As you can see, we got lucky here. We found a little camp and we found plenty of food from these pigs. Please let me know in the comments below, have you ever played in a Minecraft hardcore server? How many days did you last? If you are new to hardcore mode, not to worry. Simply subscribe and continue watching as in the coming days we will be releasing must-see Minecraft hardcore mode tips and tricks. We also will be releasing our second series called Orange Builds. In this separate series, I will be teaching you how to build houses and anything else imaginable. 
For example, releasing Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be showing you how to build an A&W family burger restaurant. Of course, the first structure I teach you to build is orange themed. Not only is that an awesome first build for you guys, but it will also be the very first time being built on YouTube. Thank you to the subscriber who suggested to build this awesome restaurant structure. Step nine, as you can see, it is now time to look at the surrounding environment around you. It is ideal to find a very tall mountainside to set up camp for the night. I personally find it useful to find a mountainside near a mine shaft. This will allow for easy mining in the coming days. In our next episode, I will show you exactly where to mine for essential survival materials. If you are new to hardcore Minecraft, it is important to know that nighttime is the most dangerous time of the day. If you are outdoors at night, many mobs begin spawning and hunting for you. I highly, highly suggest to mine during the night. Just keep an eye out running back and forth to your mine shaft. All it takes is one slip off the mountain or one unseen creeper to end your gameplay. But that is what makes hardcore Minecraft fun in my opinion. The constant adrenaline rush of not knowing what lurks behind every corner. As you can see, we have located a very accessible mine shaft right under a very tall mountain. So now we're going to ascend and climb up the mountain. Remember to be very, very careful. On my brand new channel, I will be posting new content every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I believe this is the only Minecraft channel on YouTube that will show you how to build incredible structures like the A&W restaurant and also showing you live gameplay on the actual game footage itself. As you can see here, we have completed day one. We have our bed set up, our camp ready. Congratulations to all of you. You've completed day one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.